Hey everybody, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity and I am back again. Yes, uh, I am recovering from the broken uh, head bolt <laughs> and my mistakes. I sat and pondered on it quite a while and asked some questions as to what my problem was and some people say that it was probably already almost broken. Um, because when I was twisting it and it wasn't feeling tight, it's because it was already binded inside and ready to break. But still, in the end, um, it's something that I did, I could have detected. Anyways, I went ahead and ordered um, four. Uh, it gives you the option to order just one, but it was a different brand and it was stage six. So I decided to go ahead and buy four so they're all the same strength and the same type in there so that... Uh, at least I know that they're all good because who knows they, they the other ones could be about to go bad also So it's kind of a good thing that I put new ones in uh, What we're gonna go ahead and do today is we're gonna go take the uh, CVT apart on the project Zuma see what it looks like on the inside uh, See the condition of the belt and see if I need to buy a variator for this particular uh, project bike Because um, I do want to do a little bit of tuning into it so I need to make sure that uh, I have what's together to be able to be able to do what I want to do and give the person whoever wins the raffle to get the fastest scooter possible. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get that going. But before, let's roll the intro. As usual, I have to clean out the garage just so I can do any work. So I have to pull everything out so I can do something in here as far as project-wise. So let's get all this stuff out. Okay, well here's the, uh, the CVT side of it. Uh, the motor is still the exact same way I left it last time we were talking about this project bike. Remember, parts are ordered. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this CVT off, see what's on the inside, see what the, the previous owner has left me to use. More like did and didn't complete. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and work on that and see if we got any uh, gifts in here. Anyways, let's go ahead and take this apart. Keep forgetting to put gloves on. I got some of these dish gloves. Hopefully they'll at least keep grease off my hand for a little bit. Now, it looks like there's some put gasket seal on the edge. It's green all around here, so let me make sure I took, oh, I took all the bolts off. It's all off. I'm gonna have to give it a little tap. Obviously this person wasn't a tuner because they sealed this. <laughs> I had no idea that there was even a gasket for this. <laughs> so at first glance you can see this clutch is overheated and it seems smaller uh, the belt seems okay so far but let's go ahead and take this off and see what all this looks like underneath here oh look it still has the shim. It's the first time I've ever had one that had the shim still. Ah, 
Aha! Look. Oops. That. These look like stock weights. But look. I don't know if I can focus on that. Nasty flat spots. Nasty flat spot. Nasty. Anyways, as far as I can tell, this is stock. So let's tear this all out. And just out of curiosity, I want to see how much these weights are. So five, seven, eight or five, eight. Whoop. Five, seven, five. Five, nine, four. Five, six, oh. Six, oh, six. Six, wow. Where's the sixth one? This is only five. Well, it doesn't really, oh, there it is. Six, ten. So these weights, after being slid around, are somewhere between point, uh, 5.78 to 6.12. That's huge. So these are not going to get reused. And guess what? We're going to have to buy a new variator for the Zuma project. Anyways. Not a big deal, it's not super expensive, but uh, it'll make for a better bike whenever someone wins the raffle. Okay, let's also take this clutch apart, or at least to take the clutch bell off and see what it looks like underneath here, because it's all, looks like it's burnt. Oop. Uh, wrong size, I thought it was a 14, like on the Ruckus. Apparently it's not. Oops, wrong way. For sure it's glazed on the inside. It has blue springs. If you can see them. Blue. Not sure what blue is. But the pads look good. Everything else looks good. Doesn't look like it's in bad condition. So, maybe a new bell, a lightened one. Although it looks like it's been lightened. The holes are bigger, but that's on my ruckus. I don't know what it's supposed to look like on this one. Well, it's not a huge surprise. And, uh, you know, I, I was kind of expecting it to be stock. Um, I did see this blue stuff sticking out the edge on the top, so. I'll have to tear this stuff off, clean it up, clean the inside, and then I'm going to go ahead and order a variator for this um, Zuma, uh, just so I could do some tuning and get it at least good for the person who's going to win it. But anyways, it's good that I record all this stuff because whoever uh, wins this will have a very good detailed history of as to what's the status of this uh, Zuma. Uh, and if they want to keep it and do more mods, they have the room to look it back. Or if they want to sell it, they have a, a, a good history to show someone, hey, this is that Zuma. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. And hopefully uh, when I get those parts in, we can uh, finish fixing the, uh, we can, we can finish fixing this. Anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to share. And I will see you next time.